So as you can see, this is part eight of our fleet MS. This is part eight of our fleet MS version three. And today we are going to be doing we are going to be doing crowd operation using data from PostgreSQL. Before now, I showed you how to actually uh, build an API and do get, post, put, and delete. Now that is using static data, but this time we are going to actually be fetching data from our database and displaying it, uh, sending it as response, uh, API response, as JSON. And we're also going to be seeing, seeing how we can post data to the database, get by ID. Now, if you look at the screen, you see that we have, I already have all of them. So we have get all users, we have get by ID, we have add new user, we have update and we have delete. Now, this is very easy. What you simply need to be changing is the query that controls or performs this operation. So let's get started right now. I'd like to also remind you to subscribe to my channel if you are joining for the first time. Uh, subscribe and also let me know if you have challenges like this video and also um, let me know if you enjoyed it, if it's been informative for you, just write me and let me know. If you want to connect with me on my social network profile, be it Facebook, LinkedIn or GitHub, uh, please uh, connect with me and feel free to support me by buying me a coffee or support me on Patreon. I'll appreciate it very much. All right, so this is where we are currently. I've deleted a whole lot of things from, uh, from this file. Uh, so let's just build from the scratch this API. Actually, is a few lines of code, and for now we are still working with JavaScript. So let me stop this server from running. Clear my console. All right. So we are going to use first. We are going to do clients client.connect, and now we are going to now say app.get. Now we are going to specify because now we are going to get a list of countries. So I'm going to say countries, and there is a URL mapping. And then we are going to specify a request and the response. And the um, request and response is going to be an error function like this. Okay. So inside here, what response are we going to send back? We are going to be sending back a response that is um, JSON. Um, so we are going to get using our clients to actually query the database. So I'm going to say client dot query and then i'm going to write my query is going to i'm going to be using backticks backticks um select star from country i think it should be country not countries if i can remember and again we have to specify an um, arrow function to uh, get the result or if there's no result an error of course we are going to also capture the error. So it's going to be an error function like this. Now we are going to now sign this result back. So we get, I'm going to say res response dot signed dot um, signed. And we now specify what we want to sign. In this case, it's going to be result dot rows. Okay, there is something, if an error occurs, then you also need to send the error message back. So I'm going to catch error by using um, the conditional statement, if not error, if not error, uh, we are going to send the result back. So copy this, copy this, and then paste it right here. Okay, so uh, it's going to be else else error of course uh, else if error so results um, response that signed and it's going to be err message okay so this is basically how to do our uh, get all this is how to get everything and hopefully it works there is a way to do a uh, JSON. I think it's the JSON um, the status. Yeah, but I don't remember this. I'm going, we're going to do it later on. But for now, let's just understand the flow for now. Um, so I'm going to save everything and let's run it. So a uh, node API.js and listen at, listening at port three three zero zero. So I'm going to say HTTP localhost at uh, port 3300, 3300. 
slash countries. And now we have the list of countries coming from our database. Okay, so let's go ahead to do get by ID. So I want to pass in an ID and get something from there. In this case, I'm simply going to um, actually uh, copy and paste because in this case, I don't want to spend so much time. Um, so it's going to be a second app.get like this. And in this case, it's going to be slash countries countries uh, slash country slash ID and this is where we now select from countries where the ID is given so let's say uh, from country where ID is the ID so like this um, and I think this works so I'm going to stop the server from running I think I need to restart the server for now we've not started working with time leap so we're going to be doing a whole lot of things we are going to do a lot of things manually for now, but after this class, we're going to switch over to time leap and then everything actually begins. So let me run again, node API. And if I do get all, but if I say slash one, let's see, it gets only one country, ID one, as you can see right here. And if I go to maybe slash three, for instance, it gets also the country ID three. All right, let's see if we can add a new country. Let's add a new country. Again, I'm going to copy and paste because it's exactly the same, um, the same code. But this time we are going to be changing the SQL statement. And now it has ID, first name, last name, and location. So I'm going to say ID description, um, say capital and code. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be, it's going to be, sorry. So country is going to be coming from the body of the request. And let's see. Um, so you are, this is going to be country. So let me change up this one to country.id here. Um, change this one as well. Change this one. Sorry, change and change so it's going to be id and it's going to be description and after description we have capital capital and finally we have code okay so after insertion is going to say insert was successful um so let's try it this time we are going to restart our server again and uh, let me first save everything, save all and let's uh, run this. Okay, now we can do insertion on the browser. We have to use uh, Postman. So let me go open up Postman and let's use Postman. So here is Postman and let's see, Postman, please open up. All right, so for 3300 slash, uh, slash, oh, so here we have slash users. I actually should be posting to slash countries. Oh, okay, so I'm going to save everything. I'm going to restart my server again. Perfect. Okay, so for 3300 slash countries, and I'm going to send, and we have the countries returned. Let's now do a post. So I'm going to copy this and let's use it for, for post. So I'm going to go to post and go to body, the body here. And in body, I'm going to just paste this ID of, let's say, um, seven. And let's add France, for instance, France, capital is Paris. Uh, code is FRN, FRN continent is Europe and description is France and nationality is French okay so let's try to insert this by doing this send cannot read property of undefined so this is an error message coming let's go back here 
So you see in starting to user, so we have an error here. So let's see property ID of undefined. So you see um, in starting to users. And so we have country uh, request the body. So there is a problem. So first let's uh, change this one to country. Now, if you scroll up my website, you see that we need uh, actually to use this, okay? So we need to use body parser. So I'm going to copy this code and use it there because it is a code that takes in incoming JSON and actually incoming data, the body of the request and actually converts it to JSON format for the request uh, to be consumed um, and then the data is inserted. So I'm going to place this here. Before I do the connection, I'm going to place it here. And I'm also going to ins uh, install body parser because you can see add body parser and then install it body parser. All right, so I'm going to stop. So I'm going to say npm install body parser. So it worked. So let's go try again to see what happens. So I'm going to save everything. I'm going to start my server again. The server started. And let's rerun. Okay, so this sometimes becomes... Okay, so I'm going to... I actually wanted to clear this. So I'm going to say send. And it says insert was successful, as you can see right here. And I inserted France. So let's go check if France was actually inserted. So I'm going to change this to get and then send it across. Scroll down, you can see France was inserted. And continent and nationality was not specified because in our request here, in our code here, uh, query here in the file, we did not specify those two items. So as an assignment for you, we've done get, get by ID, we've done post. Now I want you to do, um, update by yourself try it out and see if you get it and also do delete all by yourself so at this point we complete working with javascript if i go back to my um, notes to the list we now want to switch over to actual api setup in node.js using typescript this is the production um, the real um, um, best practice to actually use typescript and be able to use other libraries that can help us do automatic restart of our server and a whole lot of other things like uh, separating the files uh, in, uh, our, our code into different files like connection, postgre, um, uh, like service controller and, and, and uh, service controller and routes and this is what we are going to be doing in the next part so I want to thank you for viewing please remember subscribe to my channel leave me a comment to know to let me know if this has been informative for you I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.